Hello and welcome to the Channel's Book Club. The list of nine winners for the third edition of the Winham Campbell Prize was recently announced and it was an African affair as all the three slots dedicated to fiction were won by African novelists, Teju Cole, Helen Abila, and Ivan Vladislavich. Each author is recognized for a body of work or extraordinary promise and goes home with a $150,000 check. The Winham Campbell Prize was established by Donald Winham and Sandy Campbell to recognize distinguished fiction and nonfiction writers. Here is a take on all the three novelists. Teju Cole is a Nigerian-American author of Open City and Every Day is for the Thief. He is an influential Twitter personality. Teju uses his novels, essays, and social media commentaries to bring attention to different aspects of life in today's world. Ivan Vladislavich is a South African novelist with very fascinating ideas about history, violence, and post-apartheid life. His 2010 novel, Double Negative, promotes the idea that a history of violence doesn't just go away, but continues to haunt us every day. Helen Abila's first novel, Waiting for an Angel, is perhaps one of the works that helped to start the current Nigerian literary renaissance. In 2002, Habila used the breath of fresh air of post-military rule in Nigeria to write one of the most important novels of the past couple of decades. Waiting for an Angel led to a rekindling of interest in Nigerian literature as a global phenomenon and opened the way for the likes of Chimamanda Adichie. Please don't go away. We'll be right back after a short break. Good music and lovely works of art. Art is more than what we present. We live in an image-based society, so art, no, driven. And then while in Prince, I was doing things in sculpture. There was nothing, no drama, not even makeup. I wanted to sweat. It's about using your gift to make an impact. going the extra mile to give others a lift. They gave me access in the beginning, but when I started photographing, some of that group came and broke my camera. Tune in to Art House. Hi, what's up? They call me Two-Faced Dibia. Right here, right now, we're talking about books. Books, so many things, plenty knowledge. It broadens your scope of understanding of life. You know, it teaches you a lot of things. You learn a lot of things from reading books, any kind of book, different types of books. You understand what I'm saying? So watch the channel's book club. Start reading one book today. No shaking. Have you ever seen any of a series of books called Dummies, there is accounting for dummies, the internet for dummies, wine for dummies, basketball for dummies, starting an online business for dummies, chemistry for dummies, making money for dummies, writing a romance novel for dummies. If you want to learn anything at all, just get a dummy, if I may put it that way. The whole idea of the Dummy series is to teach all sorts of subjects in the simplest ways. The series is a product of John Wiley and Sons, also referred to as Wiley, one of the world's most famous publishing firms. Wiley was founded in 1807 by a printer turned publisher called Charles Wiley. As of 2012, the company had 5,100 employees and a revenue of $1.8 billion. Wiley is one of the global publishing companies that have touched our world in very special ways. You must have heard of Pearson's, Random House, Oxford Press, and a few other firms that have produced books we have enjoyed and learned over the years. Nigeria has its own version of publishing firms and we at times forget how important they are and how much impact they have had on our society, especially in the area of education. 
One of those publishing firms, which is one of the most successful in Africa, is Nigeria's Literamed Publication, which owns the Lantan print. I'm sure that either you or someone around you in Nigeria has read a book published by Literamed. It was founded 45 years ago by the iconic Otumba Lanre Lawal Shulari, the 80-year-old publishing legend who has just authored a book titled The Courage to Succeed. I have read this engaging book and found out that it can be useful for anyone keen on learning about business and entrepreneurship in Nigeria. The Channels Book Club met with Otumba Lawal Shulari at his lovely home in Lagos to discuss his new book, which interestingly is his first, his life as a publisher, and a bit about the publishing sector in Nigeria. Enjoy this. No, is it not? Yeah, there's one, the most controversial one. one. I thought that was one. That's my watch. Oh, isn't that it? No, it's not this. Oh, okay. So, uh, well. That has been banned by court. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's very funny. Ah, this is a great. Uh, sorry, Alexander. I'm proud of this. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, the first time I was. So, so he was a, he was a very. Decades ago. Oh, yes. I mean, this, as I said, maybe I signed this one as well. Look, most of the books uh, I, I, I have there uh, are J. Florence. You never heard of J. Florence? No, he's subscribed. Yeah. J. Florence, he wrote a lot of books about it. I mean, these books were banned in England at that time. Yes. Love Among the Haystacks and other things. And there was a few about Camus, you never had everyone else come. Uh, the uh, outsider. Again, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you see, that's nice. 1960. Exactly. 